Hello, my name is Robert and welcome to our new Game Maker series. In this, in this series, I'll be teaching you how to make an AI for, for platformers. So you'll probably know that pathfinding for platformer games in Game Maker doesn't work well at all because it's pretty much made for top-down games. So what I did instead is pretty much I made my own system that's pretty much platform uh, pathfinding. And not only that, it also works with like dynamic maps. So like if a platformer moves, the AI will know that and it will be able to calculate and jump to that moving platform. So basically how it works, which is what I'll be showing you in this video. So if you're not interested in understanding the logic behind the AI, just go ahead and make sure to skip to the next video. So bear with my drawing skills. So basically, our AI has eight choices. Okay, so let's say our AI is this little square in the center. So if the if this little dot is our player, the AI wants to move down to the left. If it's for example right to the right, it will move right. Okay. So that's pretty simple, and it's basically checking that every single frame or every single second. So let me draw some examples so you understand this better. So this is a platform. Uh, this is another platform. This is another platform, and let's make maybe like some stairs or some stuff. Okay. And this is our AI. So I'm going to draw now in red. So let's say our, our player is right here. So basically, the AI is going to check the fastest way to move there. And it's going to realize it's down at the left, at the left corner. So it's basically going to go in this direction. And when it gets here, it's going to think two things. The first, it, it's going to think if it should jump or if it should just fall off. And because it's underneath, uh, uh, the player's underneath the AI, it'll just drop. So basically that is how the AI works. And obviously if the player is right over here, it's just going to move in this direction. Okay, so what if our AI is on top? Well, it's going to think, obviously, the fastest way to go to the top. And it's pretty much by jumping to this platform and then jumping to this other platform where the player is at. And it's checking this every single frame, which means if the player moves, the AI will look for a different path. So it's pretty much looking for a different path every frame and seeing which is the fastest path to get to the player. So I hope this video Will help, you, will help you understand the logic. And if you are having doubts or trouble understanding the tutorial, make sure to come back to this video and see how it works. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.